everybody. This is so exciting. You're all so welcome to the Gossies 2021 Virtual Awards. We're here in Lost Lane. I can't believe we're here. After the last 12 months we've had, it's so exciting. We're all together, all Hollywood glam, and we're gonna have a cracking night. So obviously there are a few changes. I am your naughty host. I've decided to take a break from living with, sleeping with, drinking with, stalking with celebrities. And I'm gonna be in your sitting rooms tonight. So watch out, everybody. Now this year, Gostani is proud to have Lifestyle Sports on board as the title sponsors of Gossies 2021. It's a female-focused brand, as you guys know. Lifestyle Sports empower women every day through their life, their style, and of course, their sports. And most importantly, if you order before 10 p.m., you get next day delivery, so keep an eye on that. Also, a big thank you as well to our brand partners this year, Mini Ireland, Nula Wolf, O'Donnell Crisps, and apparel spritz, which I had earlier on. It's absolutely divine. Okay, now it's time to drink. Alan, you're gonna show me and teach me how to make an Aperol spritz. Yes. Okay, so the ice is in the glass. Yeah, so we're gonna start off with a nice big glass full of ice. So for, yeah. our next step is gonna be, we're gonna take our Prosecco. Oi. And we're gonna add it in. So we're gonna take nice. our jugger here and we're just gonna fill it up to the top with our Prosecco. Okay. Oh. Okay, oh. here we go. In we Line go. Up. Would we just do one or would we? Yeah, if you want to just add a little bit more, yeah. Just, yeah. And are we okay just to swig as we're? Yeah, no. fire okay. ahead. Okay. No problem at all. No. Next up, we're going to go with our Aperol. Okay. So we're going to take our Aperol. Aper is Aperol just one flavour or does it come in several flavours? No, it's just the one flavour. So it's a classic Italian aperitif, means kind of like a bitter sweet liqueur. It's made with okay. orange rhubarb roots and herbs. Right, so, so it it's kind of healthy. Kind of healthy, low ABV as well. And that's right. really on trend at the moment. That's what everybody's yeah. talking about. So when we get that low ABV going, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. And it gives us a nice light drink. Okay. So when we take our Aperol, the great thing about this recipe is all we're gonna do time. is we're gonna match up the amount of Prosecco with the amount of Aperol. So we added that little bit of extra Prosecco, so we're yeah. gonna add a little bit of extra Aperol. That's the secret to this recipe. Just go in equal parts of both of them. Okay. We'll pour that in for you. And we'll just give it a nice little top yeah, there. Don't you. be a stranger. Make okay. Sure we get those equal parts. <laughs> nice. And we're just going to finish it off then with a drop of soda water. Soda water, okay. And you can use any kind of soda water. Any kind of soda water you want. Here we're using the Schweppes or whatever you have at home. Right. Just to the top. And that's it. And take our spoon. Give it a little swish. Give it a little swish on the inside to mix it all up. And then we're just going to finish it off here for yourself. A nice fresh bit of orange. That's just going to get those kind of oh, orange yeah. notes and those orange flavours up into the drink and make it nice and fresh. I thought that was nice and quick. Yeah, simple, easy, three Thanks, steps Alan. and we're off. Right, it's your turn at home now, guys. Good luck. Hi, Lucy. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Oh, my God. Are you all locked already? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Welcome to the Gossies 2021. Guys, this is insane. <laughs> Are we all happy and comfy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're a very rowdy bunch already. It's time for me to take a little sneaky peeky into your homes. <laughs> Everyone looks a little bit nervous, you should be. I'm gonna start with the beautiful Holly Carpenter. Holly, are you there? Oh. Hello. Whoa, oh, look at you. Hey, who's the hottie beside you? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Oh, you Very kept him you. quiet. <laughs> you guys have been making cocktails. Yes. Talk us through the process. All day. Well, we, we made an Aperol earlier and yeah. we made a gin and tonic and a wine and... <laughs> it's not a cocktail. Wine is a cocktail. Wine is a cocktail. <laughs> you guys are all set for the night. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who else do we okay. have? <laughs> Nikki Byrne. <laughs> Nikki, are you there? Hey, Lucy, how are you? <laughs> Fine, thanks. How are you? Oh, good. I'm oh, very excited. Very excited. Jesus, where are you? Well, I'm in. Any I'm rockets? Chocolate <laughs> <laughs> malt. Um, I have a pint of Guinness ready. I'm in a bar, and I, you know, Dahi and Baz said they were calling around. They never showed up. Obviously, restrictions didn't allow. But we're oh, all no. You know, That's, over there. Over there. That's because you guys aren't allowed in the same vicinity ever again after last year's Gossies or was it the year before? I Vicky, think um, is that an actual yeah. bar? 
Are you messing with me? No, not th- this. Yeah, I have a little bar in the house. So um, it's only every yeah. Christmas time. So um, it's <laughs> lockdown time. This it's is July. Yeah. Let me see what you're wearing waist down. I have oh. a horrible oh. feeling you're in shorts. No, I was, you know, I did have shorts on, but I put the track. It's a track <laughs> suit. So I actually put the track suit on. Where is it? It's oh, got- thank God. <laughs> Wait, what, what is that? Are they like karate pants. <laughs> track Cedo. Tuxedo track. Tuxedo. Yeah. Oh, you've heard oh, of it. Oh, Georgina is so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're a messer. Right, I'm going to... Oh, and you've got a picture of yourself. That's not plain. Frame it. I frame mine. I love them. Not, not as good as you are in the flesh, my friend. Where's Baz? Oh, how are you, Bruce? I can't see where, you. Where are you? I'm in the kitchen. I'm never going to leave this fucking kitchen. Wait, what do you mean you're in the kitchen? Who are you hiding from? We're in the kitchen with the dog. That's it. That's as glamorous oh, as it gets here. Look, and Baz is a granddad. Woo! Baz! Oh, congratulations. You're the youngest granddad. Actually, the hottest granddad I've seen in like, a long time. Very below How average dad. Super hot granddad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's somebody in the background. It's Hannah. Hi. 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 Oh, are you in your gym jams? Oh, no, you're not. Do you want to embarrass your dad? Hi, Mahi, how are you, oh. though? <laughs> what well, is your dad wearing his pajama bottoms underneath? Let me see. Let me see. I'm pro- professional. You're not professional, Bassi. <laughs> yeah. So how exciting you to see your granddad. Yeah, man. Because that I was the totally plan, thrilled, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Are you feeling lucky tonight? Ah, listen, there's people out there. It's a bit of crack. Words. I'm just happy to be here. Exactly. Yeah. And girls, you're allowed in the shot. Don't mind your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Bazzi. Catherine, are you there? I am, sweetheart. Where are you? Oh! Ooh. 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 Someone's putting out her stall. Wowzers. This is like your mom. Whoa! <laughs> Good woman. Now. God, this I, is why we're friends. I baked tan from the boobs up. Yeah. Well, I did it. They are oh, wow. me. Wow. Yeah. Well, tonight is sponsored by Lifestyle Sports, so I have my runners on under my dress. Classy chick. How you doing? I'm good. How exciting, ladies, is it to be dressed up and still... <gasps> so I'm... nice. Even just to wear a bra is quite exciting these days, isn't it? And you know what? I thought you actually might get me to stand up at some point. Um, yeah. I, I was in my pajamas up until about 10 minutes ago with a lovely yeah. time. But I said, no, I knew that you were going to... Kennedy, Kennedy. <laughs> so I made the... Totally. Act- yeah, but if there's any way to get you. I've got my cocktail ready Good to go. girl, what's in your cocktail? Yeah, well, it's a G&T, so it's not... Nice. But I'm in a cocktail glass, trying to pretend... Yeah. Delicious. Mm. You're all ready for the crack? I'm ready for the crack. Great to see so many people. Now, Bye. the biggest mess are on the screen. Kendi, where is Dahi? Oh. Oh, 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 look at your little Dahi. embarrassed face. I know, oh. yeah, hang on a second here. I want to, I'm, only, I'm only three quarters away to the brandy. Oh, Jesus, you're on the brandy already. <laughs> Dahi, yes. when did we live together? Was it 10 years ago? Uh, it was about 13 years ago, Lucy, would you believe when it? You, when, you, uh, when you said to me that I had one last chance to get a shot of the title, remember? Never said that, Kennedy. <laughs> Never said that. Anyway, remember I, I kind of puked on your fridge yeah. because that, of the brandy. Yeah. I haven't had brandy ever since. Like, that is actually not a joke. How are you, my friend? I'm in great form altogether. I just put me hog to bed and I said, we have to do it early tonight, me hog, because daddy has to, has a show to be on, you know? Because so daddy's so busy. He was so excited Aww. to see me. And everything. It was great. Yeah, it's, listen, I'm so glad we're doing this. The only thing is we can't dance this year. Remember last year we were caught. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was great. I, actually, yeah. that was the last big night we had out together. Every yeah, me of- too. Yeah. yeah, every one of us. So I know. Lads, we're going for it. Uh, Gossie's 2022. We are going for it. And I'm bringing oh, Gossie's 2022. Out. I'm wearing a bikini. Yeah. <laughs> Victor, I'm going all out. Good to see you. Good and see finally, you. Una. Okay. Cheers, pal. Una, hi. How are you? 
unmute myself. Sorry, I was muted. I don't know why. Don't I was worry. Muted. Look Sorry. at you. You look fabulous. We saw a picture of you earlier on on Instagram. Wowzers. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, no, this is an Irish designer. I said I dress Irish for the, the night, you know. Good woman. How are you getting on? Um, yeah, um, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, really good. Back, good. back home. So it's all good. I'm, I'm delighted to be here with all you lot. Um, I know. It's not a great good. bunch. Like yeah, everybody that's on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> All, all true, gossy people. You can people. actually say a bit of crack, and like, like if you're in the UK and you say, "Oh, we're having a bit of crack," they're like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, I know. You it's like Jesus, that that's get a bit wild. <laughs> yeah, whose dog is that? <laughs> whose dog? I bet it's Baz's dog. Is it? <laughs> Catherine, is it one of your dogs? No, it's not mine. <laughs> whose dog is that? You will be penalised. <laughs> okay. Are we all nicely relaxed? Everyone's been to the loo. Everybody has a drink. Yeah, all sorted. Yeah. Every, everybody's yeah. happy. Okay, what to expect from tonight? Obviously, our Gossy Awards will be given out one by one via Zoom. We have guest presenters from Dublin to LA. We have some of our nominees who have kindly recorded some special videos, which are absolutely hysterical. And tonight is just going to all be about just relaxing, and we're here together. But before we kick off the awards, it's time to look at someone who was nominated actually twice tonight for Best Newcomer and also Social Media Star. Now, no matter how you got ready tonight, I can guarantee you, you weren't as stylish as this guy. Please welcome, Tyke Fleming. Okay. Oh, no problem, Hello. Hello. Yeah, it is. How are you? Uh huh. Uh-huh, yeah, I have, I have. I know way. Yeah, okay, oh brilliant. Yeah, yeah, no, they're here with me now, I'll let them know. Perfect, yeah, go on, good luck, bye, 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 bye. We've been invited to the Gossies. That's the gossip. Isn't that the Irish Oscar thing? You know what that means? <laughs>
Right, well, if you didn't get ready like the Flemings tonight, well, then I don't know what to say to you. I'll tell you what, though. They might be a future living with Lucy. I love that family. OK, guys, this is it. Are you ready? For the first award of the night, to announce the winner of Best Actor, it is the lovely Talia Hefner. The Best Actor category is once again jam-packed full of Irish talent this year, including some long-time favourites and some newer faces. Over the last year, Irish actors have spearheaded some of the biggest TV shows, as well as starring alongside some of Hollywood's biggest A-list stars. From Brendan Gleeson landing a Golden Globe nomination for playing Donald Trump in the comedy role, to newcomer Paul Meskell receiving worldwide praise for his role in Normal People. It's been an amazing year for Irish talent. And without further ado, the nominees for Best Actor at the Gossies 2021 are Paul Meskell in Normal People, Adrian Dunbar in Blood, Ryan Andrews in Fair City, Barry Keown in Calm With Horses, Fiona O'Shea in Dating Amber, Richard Flood for Grey's Anatomy, and Brendan Gleeson in The Comedy Rule. And the winner is... Paul Mascala and Normal People. Congratulations, and I want to say a huge, huge welcome to Ireland for putting this together this year and holding it off. I hope you're all having a lovely night and sending lots and lots of love from all of us. I feel like I'm walking around trying on a hundred different versions of myself. And how do you know what you want? Most of the time I don't have a clue. You must know what you feel. Do your friends know about us? No. I feel like everything's changed. You don't want to touch me, but you get to dictate who else does. They don't really think that's what's going on here. What is it then? I did used to think that I could read your mind at times. I don't know, maybe that's normal. At New Aesthetic Skin Clinic and Serenity Day Spa Dublin, high standards and excellent customer care are very important to us. We are Skin Suitable's flagship clinic in Ireland. We offer expert skin consultations from our website on www.lulawolf.ie Our online shop carries an extensive range of effective results-driven skincare solutions. Unfortunately, Paul Meskell couldn't be with us tonight because apparently he's freaked out because I'm obsessed with normal people and obsessed with him. So I will collect the award for him and obviously drop it into his house. Now, everybody, from best actor to best actress, we have the lovely Glenda Gilson up next. Well, it's been another incredible year for Irish actresses at home and abroad. And I suppose we've all been looking to movies and TV for the last 12 months. And these women have certainly kept us entertained. We saw Nicola Coughlin transform from a Derry girl into a Bridgerton favorite, while Jessie Buckley and Fiona Shaw took over award season. So the nominees for Best Actress sponsored by this year's skincare partner, Nula Wolf, are Jessie Buckley, I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Nicola Coughlin, Bridgerton. Sarah Green, Normal People. Amy Huberman, Finding Joy. Fiona Shaw, Killing Eve. Ashling Bay, Love Wedding Repeat. Neve Algar, Calm With Horses. And the winner is Nicola Coughlin for Bridgerton. Hello everyone at the Gossies, this is Nicola Coughlin. Thank you so, so much for voting me as best actress. I am overwhelmed and I am so grateful to you all. I've been so, so blown away by the response to Bridgerton and the fact that so many of you have supported me and been so wonderful. I can't tell you how much it means. Also, the support from the very beginning with Dairy Girls has been absolutely everything and I'm so excited to get back to filming that and bring you series three. Um, yeah, it's so lovely to get this acknowledged from people at home because home is where the heart is and I'm a Galway girl, so this absolutely means the world. I hope you all have an amazing night and I hope next time I can be there to celebrate with you. Lots of love. 
Isn't Nicola Coughlin so nice? And I'm so jealous of her because I'm like, everybody was obsessed with Bridgerton and that means that she got to meet the Duke. I'm so annoyed. Okay, next up it's time for best movie. And presenting this award is my TV husband and one of my favorite people genuinely in Ireland. It can only be Di O'Shea. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Di O'Shea coming to you tonight from Galway. Well done, Lucy. You are doing a fantastic job as always and a huge congratulations to Ali and all the team at Goss.ie. Now, despite the movie industry being forced to a standstill in 2020, we have been treated to some incredible films over the past 12 months, from warm-hearted coming-of-age stories to ducky films about legendary singers. All these films made a huge impact. So, the nominees for Best Movie are Dating Amber, Cam with Horses, Wolf Walkers, Crock of Gold, A Few Rounds with Shane McGowan, The Racer, Phil Linnett, Songs for While I'm Away, by Rialto. August Shea and Boy Torna, and the winner is Dating Amber. Well done, guys. Hi, uh, I'm David Frayne. I'm the writer and director of Dating Amber. Um, on behalf of my incredible cast and crew, I just want to say how honoured we are to have won uh, Gossi. Um, you know, we had the best time making this film, and it means a lot to us to know that people enjoy watching it um, and that it hopefully brought people uh, a smile in an otherwise crappy year. Um, so, thank you so much for this. It, it, it means a lot to us. Thank you. The person that inspires me the most is Katie Taylor. My mom. My mom. My teammates. Michelle Obama. My grandmother. My mom and my friends. Missy Elliott. My 89 year old Nana. Lindsay Pete. Daniel Sullivan, Derby Rourke, and Kieran McGee. Static Skin Clinic and Serenity Day Spa Dublin. High standards and excellent customer care are very important to us. We are Skin Suitable's flagship clinic in Ireland. We offer expert skin consultations from our website on www.lulawolf.ie. Our online shop carries an extensive range of effective results driven skin care solutions. This is a very competitive category up next, so I'm excited to see who wins. It's time for Best Male TV Presenter. And off we go now to the lovely Catherine Thomas. Hey lads, I hope everybody is having a good night. Now, whether these fellas are waking us up in the morning or putting us to bed at night, they have become familiar faces who we all know and love on the small screen. The nominees for Best Male TV Presenter are... Ryan Tuberty. Nikki Byrne. Dahi O'Shea. Alan Hughes. Baz Ashmawi. Tommy Bow. Martin King. Simon Delaney. Aiden Power, Dermot Bannon, and Tommy Tiernan. And the winner of Best Male TV Presenter is Mr. Tommy Tiernan. 
would like to thank you all very much for this award and I accept it on behalf of the whole team behind the show. My producers David and Therese, the researchers Kate, Olive and Owen, my wonderful sidekick Fred Cook, my editor Jim and my director Morris and everybody at RTE who allows us to do this show. Um, most of all really I'd like to thank the guests because the conversation is a two-way street. Um, but they can't all be here with me in the house this evening, so I'll gladly accept it on my own. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the series. I love Tommy Ternan. That's very, very well deserved. OK, I feel personally this is the biggest award of the night because I am nominated as well. This, of course, is for the best female TV presenter. And over now to the one and only James Patrice to do the honours. Hello guys and gals, hope everyone's having a fabulous evening. Now this next group of amazing women have really been there for us over the last year. They've kind of become our best friends really every day as we watch and enjoy them because we've had no choice but to sit on our holes every day and watch the television. So gals, thank you so much for being there for us over the last 12 months. And this year, Goss.ie is honoring the best female TV presenters in the Irish entertainment industry. Whether they're hosting our favorite morning show, discussing important topics, or bringing us the latest from Love Island, they've really kept us going over the last while. So the nominees for best female TV presenter, sponsored by Minnie, are Deirdre O'Kane, Deirdre O'Kane Talks Funny. Anna Daly, Ireland AM. Lucy Kennedy, Lodging with Lucy. Glenda Gilson, Ireland AM. Laura Whitmore, Love Island. Blana Tracy, National Lottery. Nuala Carey, RTE Weather. Catherine Thomas, Operation Transformation. Miriam O'Callaghan, Primetime and The Late Late Show. Claire Byrne for Claire Byrne Live. Karen Coster, Ireland AM. Maroon O'Connell, The Six O'Clock Show. And Jennifer Zamparelli, Dancing with the Stars. And the winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Laura Whitmore. Woo! Congrats, Laura. Ah, um, thank you. Um, wow, this is lovely. Um, thank you so much for this award. Um, thank you to Ali and, and all the team at Goss.ie. Also, the absolute legends that were in this category. Um, I'm just so happy to be amongst them. Um, so thank you. It's been a really difficult year for so many people, um, particularly in this industry. So to be able to be able to work through it in any in any form has been great. And um, thank you to Goss, um, uh, Ali. You've created a wonderful platform with your team. Um, and uh, compared to like lots of other platforms that are out there, I know that you you use your your ethics um, and your authenticity so well, and that's very much appreciated in this industry. Um, and Mick just wants to have a little shout out because he's put his dicky bow on for the occasion. I've got my red lippy on. Let's have a great night. Thanks. Well done to Laura Whitmore. What a deserving winner. And of course, Love Island is coming back, guys, which is really exciting. I love it. I'm sure there's a few nominees tonight, though, that could be eyeing a parole on that show. Dario Shea, I'm looking at you, my friend. OK, next up, it's time for Best TV Show. And over to Una Healy, who has the results. We've watched more TV than ever before over the past 12 months. So it's no surprise there's a long list of nominees in this category. From our favourite talk shows to Irish dramas that brought us to tears. We were truly spoiled for choice with TV programmes this year. The nominees for Best TV Show are DIY SOS The Big Build Ireland Normal People Lodging with Lucy The Late Late Show Dancing with the Stars Fair City, Gogglebox Ireland, The Young Offenders, The Tommy Tiernan Show. 
And the winner is... Normal people. And try to act like your friends. But you know you're not that kind of person. Just kiss me. I feel like I'm walking around trying on a hundred different versions of myself. And how do you know what you want? Most of the time I don't have a clue. You must know what you feel. Do your friends know about us? No. I feel like everything's changed. You don't want to touch me, but you get to dictate who else does. They don't really think that's what's going on here. What is it then? I did used to think that I could read your mind at times. I don't know, maybe that's normal. It's not. Okay, you know when you accidentally talk about the person on your Zoom without muting your mic? Or have you ever had those awkward moments, I think we all have, at the start of the video where no one can hear each other and it's really awkward and embarrassing? Well, one person who knows more about this than anyone else is, of course, our nominee for the most stylish man tonight. Here's James Kavanagh. Take a look. So I said, if you serve me a dish with raisins in it one more time, I will send you back to Curb anywhere I found you. Yeah, he's in there making me a new dinner now. Oh, God. Um, I am about to go in the Gossy Zoom. Um, yeah, it's all online. I, I am up for best dressed. Uh, I'm up against sequins, Patrice. <clears throat> yeah, I am wearing Balenciaga. Um, hold on, sorry, one sec. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <Hiya. laughs> it's uh, sequins, Patrice here. Mm. Hi. I, I, hello. Nice uh, plastic bag you're wearing. Mm. We are flying through these awards. Okay, next up it's time for Best Radio Show. And to present this award is my former roomie and yoga friend, Mr. Greg O'Shea. We've been at home more than ever in the last year, so it's no surprise that we've been tuning into the airwaves a lot more. Over the past 12 months, we've listened to debates on politics, the latest on the pandemic, as well as celebrity interviews, comedy sketches, and so much more. From Matt Damon's surprise exclusive interview to just waking up in the morning to positivity and laughter. All of these shows have provided us with the entertainment we sorely needed. So the nominees for the best radio show of the Gossies 2021 are The Colum and Lucy Breakfast Show, Radio Nova The Jennifer Samparelli Show on RT2 FM The Ian Dempsey Breakfast Show on Today FM The Louise McSharry Show on RT2 FM News Talk Breakfast on News Talk. Fully Charged with Graham and Nathan on Spin 1038. Live Line on RT Radio 1. Dermot and Dave on Today FM. And Mairead Ronan on Today FM. And the winner is... Drum roll please. Dermot and Dave, Today FM. Congratulations guys, great show. Hey everybody, it's Dave from Dermot and Dave on Today FM and just want to say how thankful we are to have won best radio show at the Gossies. Really appreciate it, thanks a million. Okay, next up it's time to look at this year's model of the year category. And to present is the one and only eternal model herself, Celia Homan-Lee. Hi, I'm Celia Holman Lee, and I'm delighted to be presenting this category. Once again, Goss.ie is honoring the best in the Irish modeling industry. Despite the pandemic, 
These nominees have continued to land leading campaigns, work with top fashion brands, and show off the latest trends online and TV. Some even continue to model the best in fashion at home, just like yours truly. And now, the nominees for Model of the Year sponsored by Instac are Joanna Cooper, Talia Heffernan, Louise O'Reilly, Yoniko Chan, Lynn Kelly, Rosalind Lipset, January Winters, Kerry Nicole Blanc, and Kelly Horrigan. What a fantastic category of supermodels, but of course, there can only be one winner, and the winner of Model of the Year for Goss.ie is the fabulous Louise O'Reilly. Um, thank you so much. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I have to just say I would like to share this. As cheesy as it sounds with all the models in the category, it's been a really tough year for the fashion industry and for models in general. So I hope next year is a much better year for us all. Uh, and thank you so much to everyone who voted. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, now to go to the next award of the night, Best Celebrity Makeup Artist. And let's be honest, we all need one. Presenting this award tonight is Double Gossy nominee, Louise Cooney, take it away. Hi guys. The Best Celebrity Makeup Artist category is stronger than ever this year. Goss.e have nominated some of Ireland's most well-known MUAs, and they've also recognized some new faces too. Whether bridal makeup or full-on Instagram glam is your forte, these artists are the best in the business. The nominees for Best Celebrity Makeup Artist sponsored by Catrice Cosmetics are Michelle Ragazzoli Stone, Tara Anderson, Bonnie Ryan, Kaylee Cashel, Aideen Kate, James Mack, Jade Mullet, Sue Brophy, and Paula Callan. And the winner is Michelle Ragazzoli Stone. Congratulations. I just want to say I can't believe it. <laughs> I actually can't believe it. I'm sitting here with my new addition, little Gio, being held by his big brother, Hugo, and we were jumping for joy. We're so thrilled. It has been a wild year, uh, but thankfully, I have my new baby and we're all safe and well, and uh, it's just phenomenal to win. Again, this is my fourth year in a row. I can't believe it. I'm so thrilled. Thank you, Goss. Amazing night. You pulled it off, pulled an absolute blinder. Can't wait for us all to get a big night out again and to celebrate properly. And thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Lots of love. Okay, from makeup to fashion, it's time now to turn to the award for best celebrity stylist. And to present this award, we have the fabulous Mary Fitzgerald from the hit Netflix series, Selling Sunset. Take a look. Hey guys, it's Mary from Selling Sunset. As you know from watching our show, being on trend is so important. So whether starring in a TV show or attending a red carpet, we all rely on stylists in this industry to pull together that perfect look. This year, Gossie's recognizing the absolute best in the business. Whether they're styling stars for magazine shoots or creating that perfect look for a fashion segment on TV, these nominees have serious talent. The nominees for the Gossie 2020 awards are Clementine McNeese, Judy Gilroy, Fiona Foley, Emma
Emily O'Donnell, Fiona Fagan, Karina Gaffey, Adine Feely, and Rebecca Rose Quigley. The winner is Rebecca Rose Quigley. Oh my God. Oh my God, I am literally in shock. Thank you so, so much to Ali and all the GOSS team. I have nothing prepared, but I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has taken the time to vote for me. My heart is thumping. This means the world to me. And I also want to say a huge thank you to my family for always believing in me. Um, I'm absolutely blown away. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you all have a good night. And I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody and celebrating when all of this is over. Thank you so much. Now, many of us have made a real effort tonight. We got out of our gym jams, we brushed our hair, whacked on the fake tan. Some of us look almost unrecognizable. But please take a look at tonight's most stylish man and social media star nominee, James Patrice. Well, guys and girlies, how are things? Malahide Woman here. Just wants to pop by and say I hope everyone's having a fabulous night at the Gossies. Everyone looks amazing, of course. And Lucy Kennedy, you are doing a stellar job as usual. And I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed lodging with Lucy this year. Of course, you used to be living with Lucy, but your COVID, you can't be in people's houses. But to be honest, really, they had to stop it because Lucy just kept fleecing the gaffs. Hmm, yeah, that was the issue. Oh, she'd be in there five minutes, pockets full of stuff out the door. It was cruel, but sure, huh, Lucy, we still love you. And of course, it's nice to reminisce back on previous gossies, all the awards that I've won. Oh, yeah, yeah. Best actress, uh, best musical artist, best newcomer, best dressed. But the one, well, the one that got away, of course, always was best pussy. Well, James Kavanagh. You can tell Diana that that award is mine someday, right? Well, of course, it's not about awards, it's about the memories. And, well, it seems like only yesterday I was alone in a cubicle for seven minutes with Dahi O'Shea. Oh, yeah. Seven minutes. Yeah. Seven. Oh. It was just after the starter. Yeah, you see, I'd had the salmon ran straight through me. Gee, the shite was coming out of me like a Mount Vesuvius. It was cruel, but Dahi... You were there for me, so fair play to you, a gent as always. And of course, I know some people can be a bit naysayery about award ceremonies and that, but you know what, guys and gals, let's just have a laugh. Why not? And let's not forget the true meaning behind the gossies. It's not awards, it's not entertainment industry, it's not nothing like that. No, no, no. It's an excuse for me to wear a bird on my head, get dolled up, have a bev, and wax a bejesus out of my bits because it's been nearly a year. <sighs> Before I let you go, girlies, I'll let Johnny and Logan explain to you what it's all about. <laughs> It's not actually Johnny Logan, it's me father. But if you squint enough, you can kind of think it's him. <laughs> Cheers, dolls. Have a good one. <laughs> the person that inspires me the most is Katie Taylor. My mom. My mom. My teammates. Michelle Obama. My grandmother. My mum and my friends. Missy Elliott. My 89-year-old Nana. Lindsay Peach. Daniel Sullivan, Derby Rourke and Kieran McGee. Now I don't feel dressed up at all. Thank you to the very attractive uh, Malhide woman. <laughs> okay, next up to present Fashion Designer of the Year. She's nominated for Influencer of the Year tonight herself. It is Neve Cullen. Hello everyone, Neve Cullen here. Oh God, what I would do to be with you all this evening, um, having fun and dancing and 
the Gossies is probably one of my favourite nights of the year where we all get dressed up. So hopefully we can all hug and dance soon and see each other. But well done to Ali and the team at Goss for putting on such a wonderful virtual event. But I'm proud to be here tonight as an ambassador for Lifestyle Sports Women Studio. Proudly Irish, Lifestyle Sports Women empower every day through their life, their style and their sports. So now on to Fashion Designer of the Year, one of my favourite awards. We are so lucky to have so many fashion designers based in Ireland, that we are, who have been making waves at home and abroad. Whether they design dresses for our favourite stars or use their skills to create fashionable face masks during the pandemic. I saw a few, they're amazing. All these are very worthy winners, that I agree with. So without further ado, the nominees for Fashion Designer of the Year are Natalie B. Coleman, Ethan McNamara, Claire Garvey, Paul Costello, Don O'Neill, Lucy Nagel, and the winner is Brendan Courtney and Sonia Lennon. And the winner is a worthy winner. You're all worthy winners, but the winner is Ethan McNamara. Well done! Go Ethan! <laughs> I'm so shook. What the hell? When I won this last year, I came on and I said, um, thank you so much. It's my second year in business. And that's how shook I was last year that this is actually my second year in business. Um, so I have the full year ahead of myself. But oh my god, thank you so much. It's honestly means the world for a young designer like myself to be up against such amazing um, Irish designers. It's honestly such an honour to me um, even to be here tonight. So thank you so much to Ali and the whole team and cheers. <laughs> Alrighty, this is a big one. Always one of the most competitive categories every single year. It's time for Most Stylish Lady, presented by Mr. James Kavanagh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. So, it's been a year of staying in, but that doesn't mean Ireland's most stylish women weren't bringing their A-game. While we've been deprived of red carpet events, nights out on exotic holidays, these ladies still managed to up their style game from the comfort of their own home. Whether they've been hosting a TV show or posting their latest OOTD on Instagram, these women have given us major style inspo. The nominees for Most Stylish Lady, sponsored by Aperol Spritz Young, are Louise Cooney, Maura Higgins, Holly Carpenter, Grania Galana, Louise McSharry, Tara Stewart, Mirren O'Connell, Una Healy, and Pippa O'Connor. And the winner is. Louise Cooney! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much! I just saw my, my camera come up and I'm, I'm actually so shocked that I didn't prepare anything to say because I really didn't expect to win. And I have literally lived in tracksuits for the last year. I don't know how I'm ever going to get dressed normally and stylishly again, but I will take it and thank you so much. Hope you're all having a great night and hopefully we can get out to celebrate together soon. Okay, it's all about style tonight because next up we have Most Stylish Man. And it's another very tough category. Mairead Ronan, take it away. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a good night on your couch. I'm having a whale of a time here in my spare bedroom watching this. Um, it's about as much fun as I've had since the Gossies on the 31st of January in 2020. Anyway, we'll truck on and do what we can. I am here to give the award to most stylish Irish man. And over the last 12 months, despite what's gone on in the world, like there's been no glitzy events to go to, no red carpet events, 
Uh, the Irish men have been upping their fashion game and they have showed us how they do it across their social media and on TV too. So, the nominees for Most Stylish Man are Paul Meskel. He didn't really wear clothes last year. He wore a chain. Okay, Paul Meskel. Barry Keoghan. James Kavanagh, who I believe looked absolutely spectacular in his Ireland's Fittest Family jersey. Nicky Byrne. Stephen Byrne. Brian Dowling. Connor O'Donoghue. Greg O'Shea. And James Patrice. And the winner of Most Stylish Man is. James Patrice, congratulations! Thanks so much, guys. That's amazing. I, re I, I look like I'm in a coffin right now, I realise, with, with the red behind me and the, the black suit. Um, thank you so much. It's been a year of joggers. And, and loungewear and Zoom calls, but I, I try and put the best foot forward. I've spent most of the year in tracks and bottoms and uh, and sequins, really, and chucking everything in. But um, I suppose, yeah, fashion is about having the crack and uh, not caring what anyone else thinks. If you want to wear nipple tassels, gals, do it. I have mine underneath here. Um, thanks so much. Well done, the great night, Goss, and cheers. Thanks, Amin. <laughs> Okay, it's time for a musical interlude. You're going to love this. Take a look at Chloe Agnew, Zappo, Sinisha Tushin, and Gemma Bradley. close to the end now guys and we still have some big awards to come next up is best social media star another very tough category and I'm gonna tell you a little secret 
The winner of this category got over 60,000 votes. Can you guess who it is? Over now to former most stylish lady winner at the Gossies, Erin McGregor. This category is always one of the most competitive categories at the Gossies every year. Social media has become a huge source of entertainment for us all, especially this past difficult year. The nominees have offered us laughter, honesty, and escapism. Whether they made you laugh out loud from a comedy sketch or made you try a new TikTok trend, they've managed to keep us all entertained. The nominees for Best Social Media Star sponsored by O'Donnell Crisps are James Cavanagh, Tyg Fleming, James Patrice, Fanula J, The Two Johnnies, Trisha Transformation, Marty Guilford, Jen's Journey, Carl Mullen, and the winner is Tyke Fleming. Well done, Tyke. <laughs> Jesus, will you relax? Oh my God! The poor dog. Tyke, Susan. Am I alive? Oh Thank you so much. <laughs> my poor dog. Oh, this oh. is petrified here. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Thank you so much, lads. It's an honour to be uh, included with all those uh, very uplifting and positive people. Sorry, I'm trying to get everyone in. But uh, thank you so much. It's, uh, I don't know what to say, I'm shocked. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's, uh, for what a year we had, you know, just a, a laugh and a crack here at home and to see so many people tune in to the crack, it's, it's, it's overwhelming, but at the same time, oh, <laughs> it's, it's great. So thank you all so Come much. On, the kingdom. Whoever voted. <laughs> I actually think we've been listening to more music this year than ever. And boy, do we have some amazing Irish talent nominated here tonight. Stephen Byrne presents now Best Music Act. I know what you're thinking. It was a given since he was nominated for Most Stylish Man of the Year and all that. But can we all have a moment for my three-toned hair? It's the brown to the yellow to the white that does it for me. Apologies to my hairdresser. Anyway, how did I get nominated? I'm wearing SpongeBob pajamas. All day, every day. <laughs> anyway, it's not what I'm here for. Uh, it goes without saying that the last 12 months have been extremely tough for the music industry with future releases stalled, gigs canceled, and the future of the industry just left uncertain. But these artists kept us entertained through the tough times with new releases and also performances online. The nominations for Best Music Act are Chasing Abbey Erica Cody Dermot Kennedy Lyra Niall Horan Wild Youth Mango Mathman. Picture this. Amy. And Ronan Keating. And the winner is. Dermot Kennedy. Eyes. 
just find paradise Oh my, my, my There's a thousand miles between you only three awards left. Presenting the award for Influencer of the Year, it's the one and only Perez Hilton. Hello, Ireland! It is me, Perez Hilton, and I am sad that I cannot join you in person today, but I truly and deeply would love to visit Ireland soon. Can you believe I've never been? I need to get Louis Walsh or Nadine Coyle to hook me up, or maybe somebody watching right now can help get me to Ireland. That would be a dream come true. Right now, though, it is my pleasure to present an award for a category I know a thing or two about, being an influencer. I know a lot about them, and I know a lot about celebrities, and nowadays, it seems like most of the influencers want to be celebrities and most celebrities want to be influencers and I'm writing about both. I'm writing about social media stars like their traditional Hollywood stars. And I hope to be writing about our nominees very soon on my website and socials as well. Now, these nominees kept us entertained with their content, whether it was fashion, beauty or getting honest with their followers. And that was no easy feat over the last 12 months. Alongside their usual outfit of the day posts and makeup tutorials, many influencers also used their platform to promote the guidelines and raise money for charities affected by COVID-19. The nominees for Influencer of the Year, sponsored by One For All gift cards are Rosie Connolly, Terry McAvoy, Neam Cullen, Louis Cooney, Lisa McGowan, Lisa Jordan, Erica Fox, Roz Purcell, Lucy Fitz, and the winner is Lisa McGowan. I don't know if you can see me or if you can't see me. As you can see, I am not dressed up. I have no makeup and no, no hair washed. Uh, didn't expect this. Thank you to everybody who voted for me. Um, I had a strange year last year, super year last year. And um, yeah, I don't know what to say, but thank you to everybody for voting for me. Um, and thank you very much, guys. Okay, before we move on to the final awards of the night, it's important to stop for a second and take a listen to this. Tonight's nominee for Most Stylish Lady is one of many people in this country who returned to nursing when we needed them more than ever. Take a look. Hi everyone, my name is Gráinne Galliana and Goss.ie have asked me to put together a wee video just about my experience as a frontline worker throughout this pandemic. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm a nurse. Um, I started back working in the hospital in April last year, just kind of after everything started to close down. I feel like it's one of those things that we'll all remember where we were, what we were doing when we realized how serious coronavirus was getting. And for me, I was actually a finalist on Dancing with the Stars. So my life kind of went from the craziness and the chaos of the show to coming home to Donegal and 
you know, herding cows on the farm and drinking Prosecco. So it was equally as glamorous. Um, I made the decision to start back at work pretty much straight away. Um, you know, I had no obligations. I have no children. All my skills were up to date. And to be honest, I sort of felt like I should go back. I felt like it was kind of the right thing to do. So, you know, don't get me wrong. I was terrified. I was so nervous. And there was a lot of new things to get used to. The PPE, um, obviously caring for patients with coronavirus. And as a nurse, one of the things that is most heartbreaking yet heartwarming is when someone is coming to the end of their life and they have their whole family there with them holding their hand and I find it you know difficult coming to terms with the fact that their whole family couldn't be there with them. The whole experience being back in the hospital and being in that environment has been very humbling. Um, I myself unfortunately contracted coronavirus just towards the end of last year so I was like 2021 is going to be my year. I'm so excited. 2020 was nobody's year. And then um, I got my result on New Year's Eve. I was like, okay, not the best start. Um, thankfully, we were fine. And um, I know there's a lot of people that their situation was much more severe than mine. And, you know, Goss.ie have asked me if I have a message for everybody watching at home. And I feel like there's not really anything I can say that hasn't been said a hundred times over. So what I will say is thank you. I feel like everybody this last year has made so many sacrifices in their life and you know for the first time in a long time we can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and I think we'll all have a new appreciation for normal life as such whenever things do eventually go back to normal so thank you so much and let's all just hope for a better 2021. Okay, on to the next award. This category got the most votes this year with over 150,000 votes. It's Newcomer of the Year, presented by tonight's most stylish lady and lovely person, Holly Carpenter. Every year, Goss.ie shine a light on up and coming stars in the entertainment industry. Whether they're keeping us entertained on their social media channels, taking the music industry by storm, or getting us hooked on addictive podcasts, each of these nominees have a bright future ahead of them. The nominees for Newcomer of the Year are Rachel Gary, Denise Chyla, Shannon Joyce, Ty Fleming, Mark Megan, Michael Fry. Naomi Clark, Missy Keating, and Sophie Murray. And the winner for Newcomer of the Year goes to Rachel Gary. Oh my God, thank you so much. Um, I didn't even prepare anything to say because I look, it was an amazing category with everyone, but I genuinely thought that Ty Clement had it in the bag. Him and his family are absolutely hilarious and I love to watch them. Um, I would love to take the credit for the page, but uh, my husband set up the page last year and um, I think he is looking down on me now saying, you're welcome. Um, so I think this award, it goes to Daniel. Thank you all so much. Okay, guys, it's the second last award of the night and it's a very important one. Every year, the girl boss herself, Ali Ryan, presents this one, and she's back with her annual speech. Take a look. Hello, I hope you've enjoyed the Gossies 2021 tonight just as much as we have enjoyed putting this show together for you. It's been such a strange year since the last Goss.ie Awards and so many of you here tonight have told me that the Gossies 2020 were actually your last night out. So I can only apologize that we couldn't get together physically this year, but we did get the next best thing. First of all, I just want to say a huge thank you to our title sponsor tonight, Lifestyle Sports, an Irish business and a female led business, something that's always close to my heart. I also want to say thank you to all of our brand partners tonight including Mini Ireland, Aperol Spritz, Nula Wolf and O'Donnell Crisps and of course a special thank you to all of our calorie sponsors this year too and of course I have to say thank you to all of you for joining us on the Zoom tonight and who are tuning in now on YouTube. 
Every time you swipe up on a goss.ie story, you share a tweet, or you book in a brand deal with us, you are supporting an Irish business and an all-female company, which is pretty rare these days. I also want to say a huge thank you to Straywave Media for producing this show with us and to my amazing Goss team for working on these awards the past few months. I think we can finally say it's been definitely worth it and all my paper cuts have been worth it too. I say paper cuts because this year I was literally on my hands and knees bagging up all your goodie bags so I hope you enjoyed them. It's so strange talking to you all now in an empty room. But when we were in the first lockdown, I just knew we were going to be facing a Gossies like never before. We could have postponed until next year, but I think we've all been dying for a reason to get glam and have a little escape from reality, and we were so happy to facilitate that. I wanted to use this moment now to highlight just some of the amazing things I've seen over the last 12 months in this industry. The pandemic has really showed us how vital all of our platforms truly are and how important it is to use our voices for good. To share the truth in time of conspiracy theories, to use your influence to raise much needed funds for charities and to fund PPE when our healthcare workers were in need, and to use your profile to campaign for important causes like Black Lives Matter. Over the past 12 months, I've seen so many people here tonight do such incredible things, make some brave choices, show strength and resilience, and show true kindness. Gigs were cancelled, shows were put on hiatus, presenters were forced to film from their hot press, yet we all still continued on. And when things were so uncertain, we saw so many of you encourage people to stay strong, to follow the guidelines and to be kind. I'm so proud of you all this year and honestly with a hand on my heart, I'm so proud of this industry. Even though so many terrible things happened this year, there have been moments of positivity, moments of hope and moments of bravery. This year really hit me just how powerful this industry can be. I learned firsthand how one tweet, one story, one article from a girl in little old Ireland could resonate with so many and reach so far and wide when I opened up about being a victim of revenge porn. And while we all have a love-hate relationship with social media, going through that experience showed me just how kind people can be. There are so many dark memories from the past year, but I will always remember that this was the year that Coco's law passed, a law that finally protects men and women from revenge porn, and also, most importantly, a law that finally protects people from online harassment. And let's be honest, a lot of us here tonight have dealt with that. We've seen all of our friends and colleagues subjected to hate online. We lost the amazing, funny and sweet Caroline Flack just over a year ago. And unfortunately, things haven't changed all that much. Despite the be kind mantra being shouted about last year, we still find ourselves in a world of cancel culture online, social media mobs and online abuse. But I truly hope that now we're finally moving towards change. If this year has taught us anything, it's that life is precious and that none of us truly know what each other is going through. This is a very easy industry to be in, to hide and to pretend that everything is okay. So it's amazing to see so many conversations surrounding mental health this year and I truly hope we see so much more. So while I know so many people watching this right now have had such a tough year, there is so much good to focus on too. We are near the end. The light is at the end of the tunnel. We live in a beautiful country bursting with talent as we saw here tonight. And as James Cavanaugh would say, we will be on the set soon again. I hope tonight has given everyone just a little escape and I hope that next year we'll be back hugging and dancing, staying out till all hours and searching for Dahi O'Shea's Gossie Award, which we did find again on the dance floor. <laughs> Thank you all for the bottom of my heart for taking part virtually this year and for each and every one of you keeping us entertained, not just tonight, but over the last 12 months. Whether you've been keeping us laughing with hilarious sketches on social media, giving us style inspo with your fashion content, lifting our spirits with music or keeping us informed on TV and radio. Every single one of you deserve an award tonight. Thank you so much for being with us tonight and we hope to see you again next year. Now that the serious speech is over, I can present the second last award of the night and always my favorite award of the night, Girl Boss of the Year. Like I said, I am all about championing Irish businesses and women in business, so this is such an important category to me. So, the Girl Boss of the Year nominees sponsored by Flowers.ie are Jennifer Rock, Skin Ingredients, Amy Connolly, Sculpted by Amy, Luna Tynan, Blank Canvas and Up Cosmetics. 
Pamela Lard, Moxie Loves. Ella de Guzman, Shop Ella. Lisa Jordan, Luna by Lisa. Michelle Ragazzoli Stone for Mrs. Glam Cosmetics. Suzanne Jackson for So Sue by SJ and Dripping Gold. Pippa O'Connor Ormond for Poco by Pippa and Up Cosmetics. Kira Lambert for Kira Lambert Hair Consultancy. Vogue Williams, Bear by Vogue. Ivana Breen for Akina Beauty and Laser Clinic. And Marissa Carter for Carter Beauty Cosmetics. And the winner is, I'm so happy to say, Michelle Ragazzoli Stone for Mrs. Dan Cosmetics. Oh my God, I'm gonna ball my lamps out now, full of hormones. Um, I had a baby on Tuesday, in case you didn't know. This means everything to me as a makeup artist and a mummy and a businesswoman. Um, Mrs. Glam has literally launched this time last year. We were supposed to have my, our launch party the week of lockdown. It has been the craziest year for me and everybody else in this country with the pandemic. Um, but Mrs. Glam has thrived. Everything thankfully has gone really well. This means so much to me. Uh, and like I just said, I had a baby on Tuesday and I'm surrounded by my boys and we're happy and safe and well and business is going really well. Goss, thank you so much for nominating me in this category. It meant so much because I was surrounded by so many unbelievably influential women in our country. And it's just such an honor and I can't believe that I won. And it just proves sometimes the underdog and someone with a much smaller following than most of these women can do it. And it's all about believing in yourself and having faith in yourself. And I'm just so grateful. And Ali, I think you're amazing and everything you've achieved and speaking out so publicly about something that's so important. And uh, you should just be so proud of yourself. And you just go from strength to strength every single year. And thank you and God bless and look after yourselves. Stay safe. <laughs> we have made it, guys. We're finally on the last award of the night. And I think it's fair to say this is a truly special one. This year, the team at Goss.ie decided to recognize those in the industry who gave back over the last year. All over 2020, we saw celebrities raise much needed funds for charities, buy and distribute millions in PPE to healthcare workers, use their social platforms to promote vital issues and use their voice to lead a movement that would change the world forever. This year's winner proved herself not only to be brave, courageous and strong, but also to be kind. She championed an important issue that she continues to campaign for this day and it's a campaign we need a constant reminder of if anything is going to change. Take a look at our winner, Erica Cody. I can't sit here and not do something while I know not only my family are hurting, but my people are hurting. Like, it's, this has been going on for so long and so many years, like 400 plus years. And people need to realize that what's happening in America, it's really, really horrible, but racism is still really, really alive in Ireland. And people need to really open their eyes to that. Um, it's not all just plain sailing, it's not, it's not all, you know, fresh roses and daisies. Like, it's, it's tough being a person of colour in Ireland too. People are angry and people are ready to be heard and this is not going to go away. I did not expect that in the slot. My heart is actually beating so fast. Um, oh, there's Bowie, she says hi. Um, wow, wow. Um, thank you so much. Um, for for just even recognising um, something that has been shouted about for a really long time and listening and to those who continue to listen and continue to want to learn and unlearn. Um, I'll keep it short and sweet, but thank you so much. And thank you to Ali as well from Goss. Um, I, I, you're, you're so strong as well. I saw everything that you were doing over the, the last couple of months and speaking about your struggles too. And it's just been such a mad year. For everyone, um, oh my God, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really bad at public speaking. Put me in front of thousands of people to sing, no bother, but when it comes to talking, it's a lot more personal. 
Um, but thank you so much. Like, so much. Thank you so much. Well, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for being with us. We've certainly had a good laugh, a few old lulls, and it was great to get together for one night. A huge thank you once again to Lifestyle Sports, of course, for being our title sponsor tonight. We love to support Irish-owned business with empowering women at the heart of everything they do. And remember, they have next day deliveries, so order before 10 p.m. if it's not too late, and you'll get everything tomorrow. Thank you all so much for being with us. I'm going to go and join Ali now at the bar. Thank you.